Good composure shown there by Chico Lanete. Wesley Gonzalez with a baseline drive. Under goes to have his good. Surprising side was Baggio with that move. And it was not very good defense there, and Baggio allowed him to go baseline. Here's Noel at the post against Washington. A lot of uh, help defense on the weak side. Baggio. Oh, acrobatic shot. Forced that one. Not the best execution for Barangay Nebra. Everybody was just looking at the import. David Noel that time who had the basketball. Here's also Rosella. Two baseline screens provided for Ontiveros. Ontiveros. And now Pena wants to post up. Ontiveros takes it from the outside, and that's too strong. Here's Baggio. Baggio attacks. No. Good tap from Jay Washington. Last shot opportunity for the San Miguel Beerman. Break the 30-point mark here in the first quarter. Here's Washington. Makes his move against Noel. Straight away jumper. No good. Good tap by Noel. And that'll do it. There's uh, Tubidon and Tiveros getting entangled underneath. But what a first quarter we have seen so far in San Miguel. Racing to an eight-point lead as we take a look at our Motor Light leading scorers. Noel already in double digits. Second quarter coming up. TV's newest and most intense basketball reality show is coming to CS9 and BTV, the Clearman Future League, the proving ground for high-performance athletes. See 10 of the most promising basketball teams compete for the glory, the 200,000 peso grand prize, and a chance to be discovered. Premiers Jul July 12 on CS9, right after the PBA. Well, Richard, in that first quarter, San Miguel continues to dominate the boards 15 to 9. They also got to the foul line an awful lot as Tenebra committed 11 fouls in that first quarter and San Miguel shot eight foul shots and made eight foul shots. So they continue to shoot well. well they were really uh, going through those mismatches at the post as uh, Baggio gets uh, two from the line. So Eric Mink is now in the game for the Tenebra team. And for San Miguel, you have Mike Cortez checking in. Go to the post, Dorian Pena against Eric Mint. Inside pass from the weak side cut of Wesley Gonzalez. That's why you should always be ready. Wesley Gonzalez has not seen much playing time recently. He gets into this game and makes two baskets right away. Makes it 31 to 23. Here's Chico Lanete. Short on that. Smaller lineup here for the Beermen. Bounce pass intended for Rosella. Hits the leg of Ronald Tubin. Proper fast break for Barangay Nebra. And Cyrus Baggio. They'll give continuation on Cyrus Baggio. It'll be interesting to see this one again as he was fouled way out on the play, but he did not take another dribble. That's right. He went straight to the basket. There's the foul right there. Just goes straight to the hoop. So Intelligent play coming from Cyrus Baggio as we join Chiqui Reyes at courtside. You know, in the last huddle, Coach Jong praised his boys for shooting well, but also called their attention regarding their defense. Coach Jong said that they cannot keep on exchanging baskets, so he wants additional defensive stops from the Jin Kings. Richard? That's right, because uh, they gave up 31 points for uh, San Miguel. Here's Pena. Kenya now. Strong in that effort. Look at Gabe Freeman battle for the board. And that's why you have to keep a big man on him, Richard, because he will get to the offensive board. Very agile, very athletic, very strong. That's Gabe Freeman. Lanete. Swing the ball over to Cyrus Baggio. He's a screen by Meng. Doesn't use it. Baggio got away from the defense. Nobody locking down on the baseline, and he has six points. And you can expect that to continue. They're going to continue to slash to the basket. Ronald Tubid, Baggio, Delta Brand, all of these guys like to get to the hoop. Here's a good entry pass from Rosella to Dorian Pena. You know, that play would have 
been uh, possible where it's not for the nice entry pass. Here's Baggio. Kubit now makes his move. Kubit with a nice fake. And he will have to earn it from the line. And that's exactly what we're talking about here, Richard. The fact is the guards of Hinebra can take their man off the dribble. All of them can create. They can get to the basket, particularly Tubid, Baggio, and Heltebrand. Puts a lot of pressure on the forwards and the guards of the San Miguel Beer team. Oh, yes. You have uh, Tubid and Baggio now on, running on the wings. Really uh, they get a lot of attention from the defense. But Tubid missing on his first free throw. And on the other side of the court, I think at halftime, Coach Young is going to have to try to figure out a way to stop the inside game of San Miguel because that's what's been doing all the damage so far. And speaking about San Miguel, let's go over to Cheska. You've been seeing a lot of inside plays from San Miguel, and I think you're going to see a lot more because as for guys like Wesley Gonzalez, who scored like an instant two as soon as he set foot on the court, you just saw one from Dorian, Peña, uh, from Dorian Peña. You know, Coach, uh, Coach Shaw just told them you have to sacrifice, you have to fight to get in there and get those opportunities because that's the only way you're going to score, Norman and Richard. Well, here's uh, Gonzalez on the outside. Now, he never is in a zone defense. Take out pass. Gonzalez for three. No. Offensive rebound, Mike Cortez. Look at that. Another high percentage shot for the San Miguel Deer team. So you can see Coach Young making the adjustment there. I, I guess he got a little sick of seeing so many post-ups. He went to his own defense, but San Miguel able to get the offensive rebound. Here's Stupid from the outside. No. The rebound to Dorian Peña. Now they go back to a man-to-man -man defense. Rasella is blocked by Eric Mink. It will stay with the Beermen with 30 seconds to shoot. Salvashon checking in together with Samige Eman coming in for Dorian Peña. Eman now getting some playing time that uh, Ildefonso and Pingris are playing here in game three. Freeman with a nice pull-up. And that gives San Miguel an 11-point lead on that 8th point by Gabe Freeman. We'll be back after this break. All right, welcome back. San Miguel just establishing their biggest lead of the game as we thank Gatorade, the official sports drink of the PPA, is it in you? Here's Eric Mink. Take out pass, Sunday Salvashon, one fake, drives to the basket. Another missed layup here for Barangay Hinebra. Steve Freeman, I guess Noel, who has two fouls. He attacks the defense, gets it to Eman, bobbles the ball. But it will stay with the Beermen. The one thing that's impressive with the San Miguel Beer team is how quickly they get into their secondary break, whether it be the two high screens for the point guard or whether they go straight into the post. It's almost immediate execution. There's a baseline inbound for San Miguel. Freeman asking Evan to, for a screen. Missing on that one. High lead coming from Cyrus Baggio. And he leads the break. Baggio now goes all the way. No, drops it off to Eric Mick. One play goes up, and that's good. Well, nice play coming from Cyrus Baggio at the last moment, giving it to Eric Mick. There's going to be two fouls on Freeman, but it'll be nice to see that play again as Baggio really bent backwards. Yeah to make that pass. Well, it's important for them to get Eric Mink back in game shape and get his timing back. And he completes that three-point play. Rosella. Cortez against Helterbrand. Cortez. High looper is good. That's the fourth point for Mike Cortez. Here's the secondary break for Barangay Hinebra. Mink takes that three. No. Rasella. Lead pass to Cortez. He takes yeah. it and connects along two.